damn, your voice sounds sexy. You, you sexy man, you. This, this, this. You're sexy and you got a nice butt. Yo. This, 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 this. One ever beat on the radio. Okay, no way, no way, no way. Now. Episode 47 of Cal Cagno Radio begins right now. My name is Cal. This is Steve, my dad, back by popular demand. He said to me the other night that people have been asking why you haven't been on. They have. Who's been asking why you haven't been on? Well, a lot of friends. Some of them old, some of them young. I think the best part about your story, though, he told what? me, he's like, you know, a lot of people want to hear the podcast, so I send them the three episodes that I'm on. I'm like, I think you're on four. He's like, no, it's three. You are well aware of how many that you're on. I am, absolutely. And you only send people the ones that you're on. Uh, That's okay, though. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, yeah, because they don't, they know me. They don't know me? Well, yeah, yeah, but. Well, a lot of your friends, though, know me as, like, you know, a 12-year-old kid. They haven't seen me in many years. I remember one time we were, um somewhere and I was in college mind you this was a friend of yours you hadn't seen or I hadn't seen since I was probably 10 who was like oh my god what happened to Callie so talkative I'm thinking I grew up <laughs> I was a 10 year old kid the last time you saw me like what did you think I was going to always be like kind of shy and you know not very outgoing which for the record when I was younger I did talk a lot but I wasn't as outgoing as I am now well you know the uh you know the fix mic. your mic first of What's all. It's matter? driving me crazy. What? Is that point to, yeah, point it. No, fix the windscreen. <laughs> no, fix the windscreen so that's on there. Good. What is that? The cap that looks like a wiener on the top. This fix it so yeah. Fix it so it's okay. Now talk into it. There talk, you go. How's that? Yeah, it needs to be directly all right, all right, all right. directly at your at your at your mouth. Okay. So 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 what I did is you know how the guy I don't know if I should say his name. You can say his name as long as he doesn't Tim. care. Tim O'Connor. I'll just say Tim. Yeah. Okay, your buddy Tim O'Connor. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Because I've known him since eighth grade, we have the same kind of humor. Mm -hmm. So here, he, I'm going to tell you what? this one more time, directly at your mouth. Right. You're but like then this. I can't look at you. You're like this, like right, this. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Right, no you. point. Okay, move this. <laughs> yeah, move. At, okay, yeah. There, there, you go. there we go. Yeah. Now directly at your mouth. Okay, hold on. No, directly at your mouth. There you go. Is that better? Much better. Okay, go but ahead. I can't see you. You can see me fine. All right. Okay, go ahead. But anyway, so I send it to O'Connell. Because all we have to do is look at each other. We just It's like the Three Stooges, right? So I, why would I send him anything other than mine? He wants to hear me, right? No, I totally understand. I'm yeah. just giving you a hard time. Okay. It's but, totally uh, fine. And I sent it to the guys that we play video golf with, right? Yeah, my dad plays video golf now. That's like a thing. I don't know if everybody out there knows this is a right. thing, but apparently this is how it works. So you go, and they have a bar there, which I was surprised by. A bar, and you can get food there and the whole deal, right? Yeah, but okay. you only go on Mondays. Okay, so he only goes on Mondays because you know he's got a uh, problem where he can only get deals on things. He buy one, get one free for an That's hour right. or whatever. But you line up and you hit a ball into right. a screen that right. looks a lot like, like a like almost like a sheet hung on the wall, sort of. Or is yeah, it like but it's a, like about, gosh, it's got to be ten, twelve foot tall. Okay, so then you hit the ball, and whatever happens with you on in the like on the screen, or excuse me, as you hit the ball, it sort of it reacts in a way, right, so that it knows. Yeah. Kind so of. So if you hit a worm burner, you see it. So are you just as bad in real life as you are on video golf, or does it somehow give you a little bit of help? I'm not saying you're a bad <laughs> golfer. I'm just saying I know what kind of golfer I am, and I come by it naturally. Come by it honestly. Well, let, let, let's just say this: that to keep the game moving, out in the real world. Uh, people give you gimmies, right? You know, two foot putt. Yeah. Okay. So, for right? the record, everybody who doesn't play golf, here's how it works. If somebody like when people are playing amongst friends, not like if you're playing in, you know, for money or anything. You get the ball close, so maybe you know, couple feet, couple feet, and you say that's a gimme. That's in other enough. words, we're saying in our heads that you would have made that. The Lord knows, most people not always will make it. I but okay, I don't do that to a lot of people because they're horrible. All right. Okay. So, anyways. in fact, O'Connell's really bad. Okay. Anyways. So you do gimmies, yeah. and but on this you do long gimmies, right? Uh yeah, nine feet. So, so in answering your question, of course I do much better indoors, right? Because I, uh, how many times am I really going to make a nine foot putt? Probably not so much. No, most people aren't going to make that. Yeah. So. so they give you the nine foot putts, and there's a lot of guys that couldn't make a nine foot putt if their life depended on it. Right. right? So you end up with lower scores, but it's right. still so it's but it's fun. I mean, I think here's the thing: I want to get back into golf because I had, gave it up probably ten years ago because I'm not very good at it. And spending sixty bucks to spend four hours away from my family only to be frustrated at the end, I decided was better right. for my life. But now I think I might have to pick it up again. We'll see. We'll see how this happens. But maybe video golf is the way to go. But I'll tell you right now, I don't want to go video golf with you and your friends. So do not invite me. Why? 
<laughs> you act like you would invite me anyway. <laughs> you don't want me there. All right, so wait either way. Wait a minute. I want okay. to talk to you about the graphics. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, so. You do realize people are going to lose interest in this. Oh, okay. We're going to. All right, I'll make it quick. Okay. Graphics. Let are... me host the show. Oh, okay. That's what you got to do. You got to let me decide when we're done talking are about it. Are we done time. talking about it yet? Yeah, but video golf, I think we've got enough of it. Because you got to understand, only half the audience gives a crap about golf, and the other half doesn't care about you and your but friends. It, but playing it's golf. the only place where somebody cheers for me when I make a putt. Oh, they right? cheer. You have a oh, crowd? Yeah. Oh, there's a crowd in the background. Oh, yeah. okay. And I tip my hat, of course. Oh, dear Lord, you've got yeah. problems. Either way, it is Super Bowl week. That's a big deal right now. Um, Super Bowl, what's your prediction? It's going to be, uh, obviously, the New England Patriots uh, who do defy the laws of physics of how they keep winning, and then the Eagles who defy the law of having a good quarterback, but they've got a decent one right now. So prediction, seven hours of football. Oh, what do you think, though? Who's going to win the game? Oh, jeez. Who do I think? Well, I put my, uh, I went somewhere recently, and it was a raffle ticket, and I had to put my ticket in which one I thought was going to win. Mm-hmm. So I asked them if I could do both, but they wouldn't let me. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Only you decide that you want to do both. Well, right, because then I, then I right, anyway, so I, I, I was sitting there trying to decide what one to put it in. Unfortunately, I had to put it in uh, New England. You had to put it in New England? Well, because cause they're probably going to win. Okay, so the the short answer to your question, or to my question is, who's going to win the game? You say New England. Yeah. Okay, now will you watch it, and do you watch the game for the Super Bowl ads? Because that leads me to my next question. I, we, I go places to watch the game, so I'm usually talking to people. So you don't pay attention much? Not much. Okay, so you'll see it. You'll probably watch the halftime show. Do you know who's playing the halftime show? Uh, Timberlake. Okay, so you do know who that is. Yeah. Okay, I'm impressed by this. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the fact that in recent years they now release the Super Bowl no. ads early? Because here's the thing. First of all, the the whole idea of that this is a Super Bowl ad we've saved, we spent tens of millions of dollars on these ads, and then we're going to release them early so that we can get some buzz on social media, I get, but it kind of ruins it a little bit. Yeah, I don't Right. Like so, yeah, so a big one came out today, and Which it was, one? I'll tell you in a second, but a big one came out today, and now you know tons of people are talking about it. I think it's stupid. I watched it. I wasn't very impressed, but I may be the only person in America who is unimpressed with the whole campaign, and that one is Dilly Dilly. Oh... I know exactly the Bud Light thing, right? Yeah. Do you hate the Dilly Dilly commercials as much as I, I do, do? I do. I can't stand it. Okay. Because first of all, I can't stand Bud Light, and that's well, you can't say that on here. We oh. may get yeah, just yeah. oh, I can't say that. No, just yeah. I'm a craft beer guy. Okay. Well, either yeah. way, you shouldn't be so dark. Mean to... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. You, do you like the Dilly Dilly? Uh, uh, I don't like the whole thing, right? So because you don't like Bud Light, you don't like right. Yeah, you it's don't as simple like, as that. Okay, but do you like the ad campaign, or do you not look at it like that? Because here's the thing. I don't know if you're like me, and I know you are because I'm turning into you slowly, but maybe rapidly, depending on rapidly, who you ask. Rapidly, right. Um, I hate those commercials because they're just stupid, in my opinion. I hate that I've seen people at Red Wings games with signs that say Dilly Dilly. I hate that there's T-shirts that you can buy that, that say know. Dilly Dilly on them. And I also just hate that everyone's buying into this. The other one that I hate right now is the one where this girl's walking around with an iPad. She's in oh, the tree. Gosh. Then at the very end, she says, the woman comes out, the neighbor, and says, what are you doing on your computer? And she turns to her and says, what computer? What's right. a computer? And I saw a meme there that I posted on Twitter and Facebook that just said, uh, that thing I'm going to bash you over the head with, you little brat. Like, <laughs> what's a computer? First of all, it's a computer company, which is Apple, yeah. putting out a thing that says, what's a computer? Have you seen the Apple commercial I'm talking yeah. about? I, I, what I don't like about it is I don't even know what it's about till the very end. <laughs> But I feel like that's the way half of the Super Bowl commercials are, too. Like, I feel like they try to be so funny and clever that we will, on Monday morning, talk about some of the Super Bowl ads with each other in our offices and realize we don't know what they're for. Isn't that the way they do all the commercials anymore? Back in the day, wasn't it always you had to say the name of the thing like 12 times in that minute? Right. Now, we'll talk about how funny a commercial is. have no idea. Absolutely it can be days later. I still don't have any idea. Okay, so you're going to be watching the Super Bowl. You won't be into the ads. Now, will you boycott watching them now because you have Facebook? Will you watch them in the days I, leading up to it or no? No, I don't even watch them. I don't pay attention. I Not at heard. all. Not with those. Really? That's funny because I'm telling you, that's what most people say are, is the most exciting part of the Super Bowl sometimes. Oh, I watch them on the Super Bowl. But you won't go and watch them you no. know, on Facebook. No, that's before. against the rules. <laughs> There's rules, you know. I understand. Those rules are that you watch. You watch them during the game. See, there you go. My dad says those are the rules. 
follow the damn rules. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so people ask me all the time about who that is in the beginning of the podcast that says you're sexy and you have a nice butt. The simple answer, I don't know. It's a guy that calls my friend by accident, never leaves his name, never leaves his phone number, always comes in blocked. So for fun, I thought I'd play a few of his messages that he leaves for my friend in between each segment. Enjoy. Hey, I keep trying to call you, and it goes to your voicemail. Um, I'll try to give you a call about 4 o'clock on your home phone and see if you answer that. But this is Donovan's phone. So um, if you need to get a hold of me, I'll be with Donovan most of the day. So I love you, brother, and give me a call. Bye. Cow Gang No Radio. The bickering continues on episode 47 <laughs> of Cal Cagno Radio. I wonder sometimes with you folks out there if the reason you love hearing my dad on here is to hear how frustrated I get with him <laughs> and if it reminds you of your relationship with your parents. Either way, thanks for being here today. My name is Cal. This is Steve. He is my dad. He is helping us out today as the guest host for this episode. So I wonder with you, you probably had to sit through a lot of band concerts, choir concerts, oh um, talent shows, and things of that nature. Do you miss going to that kind of stuff? Or as a grandparent, <laughs> do you still have to do some of it? Uh, it? No, not at all. I didn't miss it when I you were doing it. I Half the time, I tried to figure out how to get out of it. Yeah, because last <laughs> night they had a talent show at the school where my daughter goes. Yeah. And let me put it into perspective and see if this sounds like a living hell to you as well. 42 acts, oh. no time limit on any of the acts, Oh no! and no tryouts. So it could be as simple as a friend of mine who had a daughter that was up there that she told jokes. What age was this? This is elementary school, so okay. this would be first, or excuse me, kindergarten oh, through, no. f- through fifth grade, 42 acts. Imagine... A friend of mine whose daughter tells jokes, she gets up there and tells three jokes. That's oh. fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Truthfully, three jokes I can handle. Now imagine a group of girls who are ages probably 10 and 11 who are singing some song you've oh. never heard of over the top of a vocal included background. So it's like the song. Yeah, it's not like yeah. an instrumental that they oh. can sing over. They don't know the words, and the dancing looks like they're making it up on the spot. So this was truly a talent show. This wasn't a band concert. No, really. this was a talent show, and I use the term loosely. Not that these kids right. didn't try their hardest, but a talent show. Oh, no. Now imagine the worst part of this story. I know the worst part. What? Having to pretend that it, you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, well, that, yeah. <laughs> that was bad. That's the worst. My daughter wasn't in it. What were you doing there? She wanted to go see her friends. Tell me that's not the uh, double no whammy. Way. Tell me that's not the double oh, no. whammy where I had to go watch 42 acts. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, we're talking well, two and a half, could, three hours. Why'd you have to go? Because I'm a good husband, and my wife asked me to. Well, did she go? Yeah. The two of us went. Did you make the other boy go? No, the boy didn't go. Oh, he's a smart man. He got to go to the gym and shoot hoops, which I wish I was with him doing anything. Even if any- he went there and shot hoops and missed every one of them, it's better than <laughs> what you had to do. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, I I just, I can't, after all these years, pretend that I want to watch someone else's kid perform. And here's the thing. The kids did their best. The kids sure. are, you know, and to their parents, they are the greatest performers out there. And I'm sure if my daughter was in it, I would think that she was pretty good, too. But 42 acts oh. how i mean like at some point there needs to be cuts and i wonder is this just the whole idea of everyone gets a participation trophy everyone gets oh, a ribbon that's my favorite or is or is it just like that everyone's just trying to be nice but like dude some of these kids i'm not joking dad did the entire song oh so like how many people can you hear sing the word sing the song fr- from frozen let it go oh, no. i heard six people do it last night so the age group give me the age group one more time well okay so it's kindergarten so that would be like five oh, little ones five to yeah. 11 
fifth grader, so five to eleven. I used to think the band concerts were bad, but this sounds horrendous. Why? Okay, let me ask you a question. I, Why I, was I in the band? I don't even remember being in the band. Was that? Did well, you we, have we to do? We still a- have VCR tapes of you. In the band. <laughs> oh my gosh, close-ups too. Oh, of me playing? Yeah, playing. What? Mary had a little lamb, or maybe it was. Twinkle, twinkle, little yeah, star. Something they all probably, sound the same. Yeah, right? something probably really intricate. I can't but yeah. remember what you played. Do you remember? I played a trumpet because I have it here. Yeah. We have a trumpet that I, I don't know why I ended up with it, but I think you guys probably had to buy it at the time. Yeah, we I did. I remember being in, I think Bought it was. Bought it used, of course. Uh, yeah, because well, you're smart, dude. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. There's a lot of things in you, that you've done in my childhood that have left me <laughs> scarred because we didn't have a lot of money. But I'll tell you right now that buying a used equipment for the band is the smartest thing you could do because you knew as far as as well as anybody i wasn't going to go any farther with the trumpet or any other or yeah well yeah i mean i wasn't a very good i'm not very musically that way yeah i'm not very (laughs) musical and very musically inclined but yeah sitting at those things like what are you supposed to do are you supposed to play on your phone you're supposed to pretend like you're listening because you can't leave early because that's the other thing that they ran into they had to put down an actual rule at this thing that once your kid was done you can't leave the problem is my kid wasn't in it. So when when you, when you were walking out of the house to go there, were you really questioning in your mind, what am I doing? No, I know. Yeah, I was just doing it to make my wife happy. To be honest with you, and you know what, we don't do we, a, do we do a lot of that, don't well, we? Well, I mean, everybody does that, yeah. right? Like, I think that's part of being married is being miserable in situations to keep your spouse happy. Because if I didn't oh, go, oh. I would have heard about it all night. Oh, I know, I know. Don't we all do that? Right, exactly. Tried forty six years of doing. That. <laughs> There are some things that you do. Like, you go to those plays a lot. Like, you go to a lot. Yeah. Like, do you enjoy those? And don't be mean, because we're not going to say no, what you No, I'm not going to be mean. I, I like to go, but, like, we went to the one a week ago. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? What's don't, but, okay, you got to remember, there's people there's that people li- yeah, listen. Yeah, so don't to. say where you were at or anything. Oh, no, I'm not going to say where it was at. But Or if, it, if don't be mean to these people. They're trying their best. No, I... I, I there's just certain ones that I sleep through rather than watch or listen You actually to. sleep at the theater? Sometimes. Are you kidding me? Well, I doze off, you know? That's impressive. Well, what what do you do? I play on my phone. Like, if oh, I go... I can't do that. No. You kill me. No, but see, I sit in the back. Like, that's the other thing, right? Like, I'm smart enough when I go to these talent shows or the magic show at the school. Like, I went to a magic show the other day at the school. The entire time, I sat in the back and looked up how they did... The tricks. Like, how <laughs> ridiculous am I? Like, I'm not even joking. He's levitating people up on the stage. People are oohing and on. And Was I'm this in like the... a real guy? Yeah, they, they like sprung for like, it was a pretty decent magic show. We've probably seen this guy seven times. Did, I, did you remember we went to that thing at the gym? Yeah. This is the same thing. I'm not. No, 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 no. Okay, what, what my dad's talking about is we went to like a mentalist thing yeah. at the gym theater one time. And this guy, like, here's the thing. The guy that. I saw at the elementary school is levitating people. You can quickly do a quick at the Google elementary search. Elementary school? Yeah, I mean this is they paid some decent money for wow. this. So, but I mean you can quickly do a Google search to figure out how to levitate people. Trust me, but really? whether it's it, it's not like once you find it out, it's kind of like oh this isn't really like I don't want to know this stuff. But yeah, well, what you're talking about, we went and saw this guy who he was like a psychologist or something at Strange, the gym, wasn't it? Yeah, it kind of left me uneasy. It's like a little spooky. Yeah, you went to this thing and his deal was that he could get you to like the whole audience to do basically whatever he wanted and at one point in the like and I don't mean like we take off our clothes and like start hooking up with each other but I'm saying like he could get you to like he would show a bunch of random numbers on the board like he had like a whiteboard and he could say okay I'm gonna show you 52 numbers and you have to tell me all of them back and you'd be like well there's no way I could do that and he'd be like what's the fourth one and then for some reason you could do it he worked with Sesame Street at one point on like psycho psycho psychoanalyzing children or something but he was super creepy and at one point he blindfolded himself and said I need something from the audience that I'm not gonna touch and I can tell you all about it so my dad had a money clip that had a buffalo head nickel that's correct it did in the like embedded in it right and he took it up there and i didn't take it up i stayed in the audience oh he didn't he i didn't even go on stage that's oh that's right thing. he had quarters that he had taped to his eyes i remember that yeah. he had quarters that he had taped to his eyes so he looked like he had been in some sort of accident you know how you see somebody who has like a homemade <laughs> eye patch that's yeah. what he looked like and he stood on stage yeah and he said hold it in your hand and you can i'll tell you all about it and he said he this knew. used to have money in it Right. Because you took your money out because you were smart enough of to take your money out of him. Yeah. Um, and you, but it does still have some money in it. It's a buffalo head nickel and it's from like, you know, the Native Americans, blah, blah, I, blah. He knew. 
And there was no way he knew. Yeah, it, there's no way that he knew. So, yeah, we that sort of board. We were when we got out of Yeah, there. we all sort of felt weird about yeah. it. Um, I would say that was more bordering on, like, you know, psychics and stuff. But yeah. speaking of money, I want to tell a fun story about you when we were in uh, Florida one time. My dad. Oh, I know where you're going uh, with My that. dad one time decided that he was going to bring a bunch of money with him uh, to a trip that we took down to, like, Florida to see, you know, Disney or whatever. And we were sitting in a restaurant one time, and he decided he was going to take hundreds of dollars of bills. And place them on his lap during a meal. That's because I have a problem. I'll tell you about that. The problem is you what? You lose track of money. I always, I always have to check my money. Okay, so he decided he was going to put it on his lap, and all of his money got sucked into a air conditioning <laughs> unit. Yeah, it did. I don't know what type of air conditioning unit sucks that hard. Oh my gosh! That it can pull dollar bills, or in this case, hundred dollar bills, off of your lap. But I will never in my oh, life forget my. the look on this man's face. <laughs> I'm feeling it right now. Yeah, when all of a sudden he thinks a thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars or whatever it was is now gone for good. Oh, they no. had to call in an HVAC person right, to did. shut down the air conditioner to open it up, and he got you got all your money back. I though, did. Right? I did. Did they ever explain to you, A, why you had your money taken so quickly and also I, I, why you were stupid enough to count your money well, on I, your lap at a table? Like, why not a put harder, on... They didn't have to. I had a harder <laughs> time explaining it to your mom why I did it. But I do it all the time. What do you do? I, 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 I'll put, I have a money clip. Like It's a little different than the one you mentioned. Yeah, but, yeah. But I'm constantly hitting my pocket. To make sure it's there. To make sure it's there. Don't you do that? Well, no, I'm no, not really, because I don't care. I carry, I carry a wallet. And oh, that's right. You got, Younger There's, folks don't carry money either, right? No, I never have money on me. Yeah. No, I never have cash yeah, on me. Yeah, I know. I've like been I was with you before. Yeah, I was talking to Joe on last the last episode, and like I got $20 in my pocket one time, and I spent it within 10 minutes. Like no I was kidding. buying like a foam cowboy hat, a bunch of gum, <laughs> you know what I mean, buying coffee for everybody in front of me. Like I just, I cannot be trusted with money. Not with money. No, no. And so I don't check that. The one thing I do check for is my phone all the time. Constantly? Constantly. I'm checking for my phone. I always want to make sure it's on me. I want to know, make sure to know where it's at. And also, I get the phantom buzz. Do you get the phantom phantom buzz on your phone you mean yeah like where it's in your pocket this oh yeah, is like yeah a real yeah, thing yeah. and you yeah. think it's going off yes i do and you check it because you think you feel it but there's no one calling you you know i carry this other thing in my pocket i know they can't see it but i'll, I'll just explain this what do you call these cases that you put your credit cards an in old the- man credit card case oh come on it's one of those things where I mean, it looks almost like a like a cigarette case from the 30s right or the 20s but the problem is i put it in my front pocket and for some reason it gets hot. I can't figure this out. Because your leg is giving off heat, and the thing's that made of metal. That much heat, though? Hey, man, you got some, I'm, hey, I'm related. Guy. Yeah, you're hot like that. I'm related to you. A lot, of, been told. a lot of heat down there. <laughs> a lot of heat in my meat. Um, yeah, but the funny thing, though, is, okay, so he flashes me this thing and re- is worried that, what, it's going to fall out, so I'm going to steal your Kroger card? That's all I saw was a Kroger card. This? Yeah. Come on, man. Who carries a Kroger card anymore? Why don't you just punch in your phone number like a normal human being? It's got- Debit card, credit card, license. Okay, for the record, what I see right now is a Speedway card and a Kroger card. And also a Kohl's card. Yeah, you're a way to go, big spender. Hey, I was calling to see how them burgers turned out. I was wondering how it, how it went with them. Uh, I'll give you a call later. Bye. Cow Cagno no Radio. Starbucks is someplace that my dad goes a lot. You always are getting free deals from Starbucks. One of the things that he does now, which is so weird to me, is he got the people at the local Starbucks to write down his order and how much they charge him. Now, mind you, it's not the right amount. It's how much they charge him. And now he goes to other Starbucks and shows him his phone and says, here's what I order and here's how much they charge me. And you're getting people to go along with that. I just checked the history on it yesterday. I have at the last 20 orders... Exactly two dollars and ninety two cents. Okay, so he knows two ninety two yep. if he's not getting him for free. So yeah, somehow he's a Starbucks scammer. So you go to Starbucks quite a bit, and I go to different ones and do it. Right, yeah, but you every time show them your phone and say absolutely this, because you what can't remember the twelve words that are, I mean seven no. six well, five. I words. do it just so that they have to be forced to look at it, right? Because if I say this is what I want. They're going to ring it up. It's going to come up $5.50 or something stupid. So you're saying, once again, a deal that is given to the good folks of Cal Cagno Radio, you just tell them what you normally pay, That's and they'll correct. adjust it. They have. Yeah, they do. 
I even go to new ones. And then once I go there once, I always look for the people that know me. I was at, uh, I, I don't know if I should say the one don't, I was no, at. Don't no, I'm not going to say that. But uh, sometimes I don't remember the people that know me, so I kind of freak, but I have to show them the phone. But so but every time you say, okay. Because here's the thing. The reason I'm talking about Starbucks is not because of this deal that you get, which is just ridiculous that they keep giving it's, you the it's same great. deal. No, it's great for you, yeah. but I don't understand why they keep doing it. But I saw the other day when I was in Starbucks that they have this thing called Starbucks Blonde. Have you seen this? Because oh, Starbucks Blonde is the new espresso that they have it there. And for the record, there's no X in espresso. So it's espresso. <laughs> I can't stand when people say espresso. It's not like, hey. You're in a hurry. Yeah, I'm in a hurry. Let's take the espresso train. <laughs> um, but it's espresso. They have this new blonde espresso. So is this, though, the new new Coke? Is this Starbucks saying we do something very well, according to most people? Right. Now people will email right, me right, at right. calcagnoradio gmail.com and say, Starbucks burns their beans. They're no good. I like Big B. I like this. I, I, listen, we're not here to discuss if Starbucks is good or not. I'm just telling you they're hugely popular and have done very well for themselves. However, why are they changing the recipe? Is this new Coke? Uh, yeah. I had it the other day. Have you tried it yet? I tried it. What do you think? I, I don't like it. Oh, I thought it was smooth. So I went in, ordered my drink. And you're like, and I want a shot of this, because they're giving uh, it away for free for a while. Oh, oh you know it's free. They are? Yeah, you can just well, ask for it. Is that why sh- I got it free? Because what I did is I went in and ordered my drink. Yeah. And it usually has espresso in it. Yeah, yeah. It says regular but, espresso. Right. And I said... Can I try that? And they said, yeah. So I didn't ring it up there or anything. I just walked out with so, it. So wait. Oh, no, you No, I ended in my drink, my $2.92 drink. And they gave you the whole thing for free? Yeah. Oh, see, no, that, that's not what they're that's doing. That's not what you're No, doing. no, what I'm saying is that, like, I went in there one day, ordered what I normally do, which is just a drip coffee, and then I said, ah, oh, what's I with see. this? And they said, do you want to try it? And they just put it in, like, a little, it almost looked like a cup that, um. Oh, so you drank it, like, raw, is what you're saying. Yeah, well, I just want to try it. Why, you don't drink it raw? What, are you not man enough to drink some espresso? Only in Italy. Oh, yeah, okay. But not here. Okay. But, well, no, I have it mixed in my so drink. So, Guido. But anyways. Maybe they should name that drink after me at this point. Okay, speaking of being um, Guido. Oh, yeah. Have you seen The Godfather? Uh, no. Because I had not seen The I Godfather seen either, it. no. and it's on Netflix, and so I watched The Godfather Part 1 the other day. Well, now, in pieces, because it's three hours long. Wait, now wait. I'm watching The Godfather Part Two, which is the one everyone says is so good. They have all three of The Godfathers are on Netflix right now. The first one, each one's three hours. Each one is three hours long. Oh wow! So I watched the first one so that I can be officially Italian because I am 31 percent Italian. I found that out when we did that bid on Cal and Company where we decided we would spit into those vials Ooh. and send them. No, we we did a thing with the um, uh, Ancestry.com I to find that out. Now. Yeah, but I find I don't out. know what I am. I you should know. do it. And I'm not just trying to give them a plug, but it was super well, easy. It was $100 to do. But the longer it goes on, it would be cheaper, wouldn't it? It seems like, yeah, eventually. Yeah. And the more more competitors they get. I mean, I know people that have done that 23 and Me. I know people that have done Ancestry. Uh, the other one is, I don't even know uh, what that one is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know but either mean. way, people mm-hmm. did. But yeah, but I finally saw The Godfather. And I suggest you see it too. Now, I will say this. It's dated in two different ways. One is that it takes place in like the 20s. All right. Right? So like The Godfather story is taking place in the 20s. All right. Which is, so there's old cars, you know, maybe it's the 30s, I'm not sure. But also the movie is filmed in the 70s, so it's got like a double dated feel to it. Oh, yeah. It would, wouldn't it? Right, yeah, everything kind of feels a little different about it. But it's definitely, you know, people rank it as one of the greatest movies ever. Supposedly the second one is better than the first. I'm only halfway through the second one. I'm ultra confused about what's going on. But either way, I do know that mobsters seem very, very um, cool. Do you know why I've never seen it? Why? Because I've been married for so long when it came out. Do you think I could have got your mom to go to the oh, movie to see The Godfather? Oh, that's a good point. So That's a really good point. Because I will say I've missed out on a lot of movies. Right, Most war movies my wife won't want to see. And so I'm not going to go there like a no, weirdo and sit by myself. No. So that's why I never saw it. And then, of course, in my the days when I that was out, they didn't have what... Netflix and all that. He stuff. just called them Nextflix. Whatever, Nextflix. Yeah, it's Expresso <laughs> Nextflix. But but we would have to rent VCR tapes to see them, right? Oh, right. So you know, and You'd you guys wa- were little. What am I going to do? Put a Godfather on a VCR tape, and we're going to watch that and have a a family, you know, sit yeah, together. yeah. That's a good point. You're not gonna- yeah, because I will say the only reason I've even been able to watch The Godfather is because I'm not working full time right now. So I watched it during the day the other day. 
I wouldn't watch it at night with my kids there because right. it's rated R and there's a lot of killing. Even though there's no swearing, I found right. this out. I looked it up the other day. There's one F word in the entire movie of the original Godfather. That's the only swear word. However, there's so much killing that they gave it an see, R. See, I need to see it now. Now's the time to see it. Well, yeah, now's the time to see it. Especially you, with my birthday coming up, right? Why has your birthday got anything to do with seeing the movie? Well, they're holding the Olympics on my birthday. I oh, is that right? Yeah. They... That's, you know, February 8th. Okay, so February 8th is my dad's birthday. Make sure you find him. That's and, right. And uh, wish, wish him a happy birthday. But either way, you should watch The Godfather. It's definitely worth watching. Uh, where where do I have to find it? On Netflix. Uh, there's okay. a problem there. Here's the thing. We've got a moral dilemma, folks, and I want to know what you guys think of this. You can email me, calcagnoradio at gmail.com. Here's what the dilemma is, is that my dad does not want to pay for Netflix. And you all know out there, sharing a Netflix password is not taboo by any means. Even Netflix knows you do it. Right. But Wendy Cagno is not down with it. She <laughs> thinks it's stealing. And we had this conversation in front of her one night, and she decided oh boy, to get— it was she, bad. Yeah, she got really weird about it to the point that she was like, Cal, that's stealing, and she got mad at my dad and said— We that shut it down quick, didn't Yeah, I? there's no way he, he can be on my Netflix. But I'm wondering if there's a way I can do it. Is it dishonest to put him on my Netflix? Because then at that point, you could watch The Godfather. You sit at home, watch The Godfather in pieces, like I said, turn it on for a little bit, watch for a half hour. I mean, you get the gist of it after oh, yeah. a while. I, I I gotta see it. And you don't want to pay for Netflix? No. Do you have Netflix? It's on the screen, I told you. <laughs> the little icon thing. <laughs> what happens when you click it? It asks you to sign in? Yeah. Okay, well, maybe I'll give you my passcode. Yeah. And then- so maybe I we could hide so. you in, uh, like maybe under like one of the kids' names or something because the kids don't use theirs. Maybe we'll just put their name as one of the because you each have your own profile on Netflix. Uh, that'll be good. And then my wife will go on there and see that my son who's twelve she... is watching The Godfather, <laughs> <laughs> or she's going to listen to this and I'm going to read him big. Are trouble. you kidding me? She doesn't listen to oh, this. Okay. She's on. She's been on these things. Doesn't even listen to those ones. Her own? Nope. She doesn't care. Are you? Nope. Kidding she, me? my loving, supporting wife, has never listened to one of these podcasts. <laughs> no, okay. And I'm only on episode 47. She's never listened to one of them. Not one well, of you, them. You would think she's listened to her own. Nope. Doesn't care. She's got better things to do. Oh, my God. 